Good morning, boys and girls. Hey, I have a surprise for you. Uh, we have some butterflies that have emerged from their chrysalides. Um, I moved into my dining room because it was a little dark in the office. Um, but I have to tell you, I think the first two came out maybe around uh, oh, eight o'clock this morning because I woke up at 6 a.m. and I looked at them and none of them had emerged. They were still chrysalides and I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to wait another day. And then I took my dog for a walk and jumped in the shower. And when I came back around eight o'clock, two had emerged. Now I have been sitting here trying to get, you know, the other on video and nothing happened. And then of course I went to do something else and I came back and one more came out. So right now there's three, but I really want to show you now cause you can see, I'm going to open it up. I'm gonna open, here I am. So I moved it on the table and I'm gonna open a little bit because there's something kind of cool that's happening right now. Okay, there, see the one just came out. I must have just missed it. I was sitting here waiting and waiting. So the one that's moving is the one that is just coming out of the chrysalide right now. Okay, so its wings are very wet. Oh man, we're gonna get it I think. We're gonna get it when it comes. I'm gonna see if I can cl go close up a little bit, closer. Nope, that's too far away. Go back like this. Okay, so you can see this one right here. Okay, has his wings closed. And that's the one that happened, I think around eight in the morning. And then the one over here also. I know that's hard to see, but I really want to focus on this one. Okay, it is coming out right now. I've got the lid open because I want to get a closer look. Yeah, the wings are still really wet and it takes a few hours for them to dry. Um, the other two I did get a little video of them pumping their wings and trying to get them to dry. Uh, the other thing that you're seeing is the empty chrysalides. Let's see if I can kind of point it out right there. Right there, that's an empty chrysalide and then there's one on the other side. Okay. Now what, what that, this one here is gonna do when, once it's completely out is just hang, keep hanging upside down until the wings are dry. And then you see the little piece of skin there that was that last skin when they molted. Okay. Huh, wow. I'm so happy that we're getting this. Okay. I know it's kind of hard to tell what we're looking at, but let's just keep looking because it's pretty exciting. While we're watching, I will also tell you that I took the leaves out because I was trying to get to the one that had fallen down. And what I did, you see what I did? I put, uh, sorry, I kind of stuck it up here on the lid with a piece of tape. I hope that helps. Now remember, I'm not sure if that one's going to work because it, it had fallen down, but I know it has a lot better chance when it's hanging upside down and not on the ground. Let's keep watching this one for a little bit. Oh, I love it. Okay, and then there's two that are still in the chrysalides. Okay, he's moving around. I don't want him to fall off. I will tell you one more thing is, um, I when I took the leaves out, I don't know if you can see, but do you see that right there, that red on the leaf? Kind of looks like blood. And then you also see some right down here on the side, here and here. So when we're in the classroom, the kids see that and they say, oh no, Mrs. Jenkins, they're not okay. There's blood in there. But what that is, it's not really blood. I wrote it on my piece of paper. I wanna make sure I get it right. It's called meconium. It's just the natural secretion that's created uh, while they're in the chrysalis. Some color, the coloration, the pigmentation from the wings and then it just, it's just the liquid and it drops out. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm gonna open it up again. Yeah, oh, it's pump, there, pump. See it pumping its wings? Okay. I'm 
I need to opening it because I think I can get a better view from here than from the net. But I might turn it around and see, maybe we can get it from this side. Oh, that one's, look at it, pump and swings. Yeah, actually the one that was pumping its wings is one the one that came out this morning sometime. I was so sad I missed that, but I, ooh, we got this one, don't we? So right now we have three butterflies that have emerged from the chrysalis, from the chrysalides, and two more. And I have a feeling they will be coming out this afternoon too. But I definitely wanted to get this one when it was happening. So let's do this. Let's just take a little break and then we'll take another peek before we're done. I put the life cycle poster out here because I might need some help with words. Okay, now we did not write in our journals um, yesterday. That was Tuesday. And we did some art because uh, the they were still in the chrysalides. Nothing was really happening. But today we are going to, and so yesterday was day 20. Today is Day 21, I went ahead and just um, got started. I wrote day 21, okay. And then the date is May 6, 2020. May is an easy word, isn't it? It's actually a sight word also. So capital M, lowercase a, y. And that's a great word to know because if you can spell May, you can also spell say and day and way lay lots of words rhyme with me okay i'm so excited we get to move to the fourth stage today so we are going to circle the butterfly stage <laughs> i'm gonna take a peek again it's really moving was really moving yeah there it is so it looks kind of funny because the wings are wet so it will hang upside down it'll take a few hours for those wings to dry and again, I'm not gonna get the sugar water in there. I wanna wait till all five or hopefully six come out. And then I'll put the sugar water in there and, and put the leaves back in. But right now they're just resting. Okay, let's go back to our journal. So let's say we, um, let's just go with three butterflies have emerged, okay? Three, I'm gonna go ahead and spell the word three. What do you think it starts with? Th, th. T-H, right? T-H brothers. Okay, a capital T because it's the first word of the sentence. H, R, the R, E. And when you have one vowel alone, it usually makes a short sound. So we're gonna put another vowel, another E there. That, and then that will make it, make a long E sound, three. Okay, three butterflies. I'm gonna put this down. Now you guys might be saying, I don't know how to spell butterfly. I thought maybe it would be up here. It's not, it is on my poster though. Okay, I'm gonna write it with a lowercase. B, a, a, b, u, t is actually a sight word. Um, yeah, I wanted to go to school, but I didn't feel good or but we couldn't, okay? We have to stay home. And then another T that's called a double consonant. You hear the E-R, we have written this word before, haven't we? Butter, Y. Now, if it was just one we were writing about, we would just put a Y here, butterfly. But there's, we have three. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a I E S. Okay, three butterflies have, I think I have enough room. I don't think so. I'm going to go down to the next line. Huh, ah, this is one of our sight words. Three butterflies have. Emerged. Sorry, something happened on my phone there while I was doing this. Emerged, okay? It's E, M, R, J. Sounds like a J, but it's a, a G, like in the word giant. Emerged. Okay, I hear a D, but it's E, D. It's already happened, right? Okay. Well, one of them is emerging right now. Oh, I've got to, I've got to show you because let's see them pumping, pumping their wings right now. They're trying to dry them off. Okay. 
go back to this, three butterflies have emerged from, that's another sight word, b, er, uh, sounds like a U, but it's O, M. <laughs> I have to show you again. They're really pumping their wings. From there, now there is one of our sight words, but I think the um, in our 50 words is T-H-E-R-E, -E, like over there. This one is T-H-E-I-R, that has a different meaning. This one shows possession or ownership. Three butterflies have emerged from their chrysalides. Okay, now I'll go back to my poster. There's chrysalis, so we can start by looking at that, C-H. R Y S A L, but instead of putting I S crystal I D E S, and I'm going to put another exclamation mark because I am very excited about that. Now let's say they are hanging. Um, let's see. They're letting their wings dry. They I'll tell you what, let's just say their wings are drying. Because that's what's happening right now, currently, as we speak. Their, so they're um a T H E I R again. Wings, we know that starts with a W, you hear it? Wah wah ing. I-N-G, and they have two wings, right? And there's three butterflies, so that's six. Their wings are, let's go ahead and go down here. A-R-E, dry, d-er, sounds like an I, but it's a tricky Y. Ing, I-N-G, again, their wings are drying, and I'm just gonna put a period. Okay, now we didn't talk, I didn't talk too much about um, my good writing, when I was writing these sentences, because I was just so excited about looking in the butterfly house and watching them. But uh, let's go ahead and check our sentences, okay? The first sentence, did we start with a capital letter? Yes, we did. Did I put space between my words? Yes. Stop using my stick, but um, I can kind of use my eyeballs to do that, okay? From there, and then chrysalides. So I put an exclamation mark there. Okay, when you stop a sentence and start a new one, you need a capital letter. Did we start with a capital? Yes, we did. Their wings are drying, and we ended with punctuation. There goes my dog again. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, and so I am very excited. Let's go over here and draw a little picture. Now, um, I'm going to do, let's see. Now, I know I'm going to do a head and the body. And I know their wings are not like this right now, okay? They're folded, but I think it'll be easier to see them if we go like this. Here's the body wings. We've got three. And this one's still hanging from the chrysalis. So here's the head. And the body and the wings are like this. And then there's still two more chrysalis chrysalides here. And then I've got that other one that's kind of taped, taped up here to the cup, okay? And I moved the leaves and everything so there's nothing down there. Um, and we're going to take another peek. So altogether, we've got one, two, three butterflies, two chrysalides here, one up here that I, I taped, the one that had fallen down. And then what I'll do is if any more come out, I will go ahead and do a video later on in the day and then maybe share it with you tomorrow. So we may end up having an extra lesson this week, but I definitely wanted to get that one while it was coming out. Let's take a peek. Yeah, the wings are drying. I'm gonna move it around here and open it up again. <laughs> you hear my dryer. My dog opened the door. I had it closed. Okay, so let's go inside and look. Oh, there's a lot going on. There's one, two, three. I'll try to get it. Maybe I'll just turn the whole camera around. I'd like to 
Let's put it inside there. Ooh, there we go. Get a nice close up. Okay. All right, that's all for today. Okay, bye.